Bonnie Milligan, Tony nominee. Ah! Are you, are you used to that statement now? No, absolutely not. It has not. I mean, so, no, actually, never. It's always nice. Yeah, the T word will be attached to you. Yep. For, yep. Nuts. <laughs> Used to just be the B word, belting. Yes, right? exactly. Belting bonds. That's, yeah. what, that's yeah, your, yeah, your yeah. persona. You really got a lot of attention, I feel like, in this industry for your voice, which yes. is very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> and Thank like you. the classic sort of Broadway belting. Yeah thing that we all love, and you're showing that off every night in Kimberly Akimbo, but you're also showing off this beautiful acting performance. Thank you very much. So what is it like? It almost feels like the voice got you in the door. Yeah. But now you're like a featured actress. Like, Well, it's funny because I always consider myself actor first, like actor, singer, right? mover, not so much dancer. <laughs> and I trained as an actor, like I trained for acting, not musical theater. And so... It is what, like I found the belt in college and then I started singing that way and I loved, I always loved album, like cast albums. And so to find that voice later, like that's not how I identified it first. Yeah. I was always like, but I'm an actor. And so it was funny along the way because people got to know me on the concert scene or YouTube and then they'd say, wait, but you're like really good. At, you're good, good actress. And I'm like, thank you, <laughs> like question mark, um, during Head Over Heels that kind of happened. Yeah. And so it's amazing to be seen, to be able to have a role like I have in Kimberly Kimbo where it really requires all parts of me and the score as well. It's not just belting, it's every bit mm -hmm. of that yeah. we can play with the voice. So I've been given the best material and I'm, it's amazing to be seen. Hey, you want to get noticed however you can in this industry, right? So if yes. it's for being able to sing your favorite show tunes yeah. at a bar even, like, what the hell? That'll work. Exactly. Whatever gets you the attention. Exactly. Especially when, when you don't necessarily fit the mold Fully. of what people think the, a Broadway leading lady is. So yes. it's nice to watch your journey yeah. and to see that you got attention that way and now you're at this point. I love it. Thank you. I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to really take in these moments? And, you know, I know Tony, the, the month up to Tony night is yeah. a whirlwind. Yes. It's nonstop. Um, are you able to really sort of live in the moment? It's, it's hard. It's easy to say you're doing it, but. Well, so much of what Kimberly Kimbo is about is being in the now and being in the moment and enjoying where you are. And so I have a show that reminds me of that every day. Yeah. And I have really very much made a conscious decision that every day to take what I have ahead of me today, because otherwise it can get very overwhelming and like what's happening. Like this is, you know, a girl come from the Midwest, like, like small town, not a city, like everything can be a lot. So to be able to really savor the exhaustion because it's your dream. Mm -hmm. is a choice and it is something I have been making and I have been very present and when you have an entrance applause now when you come out it's like I savor that that it's like wow this is what you've always dreamed of and now we get to do this dream role in this dream show so I have been um, very consciously present tell me about little Bonnie growing up yeah what was she like Oh, she was a little spitfire. Um, Bonnie was always ready to perform for anyone that asked her to. And uh, my family started asking a lot because they knew that I like singing. My family were singers. My dad was a lead singer. How my parents met, he was the new lead singer of a Southern gospel group my mom was the pianist for. And so we would travel and we would sing in church. And then my brother and I would start singing with them. And he's five years older and he kind of... It wasn't for him, and I was like, I'll take his verse, you know, at like five. One of my earliest memories was I got to sing the verses, and my family came in on the choruses. So that was like who she was. She was ready to go, and people would always be like, Bonnie, Bonnie, um, sing a song. Since I was like even like two or three, I would hop up in the back seat and, you know, sing whatever anybody asked me to do. So now I've seen a video of it. I think it was my brother's birthday and he was opening gifts and I was like, Timmy, Timmy. I thought, oh my God, this child, <laughs> she had a lot of energy. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry, everyone. I'm like, no, 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 it was fine. We channeled it, that I just needed creativity. And so um, I had a very active imagination. I acted a lot in the mirror in my room. I had like fake interviews with Oprah. Oh, I would that do, um, you know, I was great. She really, she asked me back. <laughs> um, and we, I would like, 
I would decide that I was in these movies and I would act out the movies in my mirror with, and I would even do outtakes like, oh, well, we should just bloopers. Like what? <laughs> you and I was like blooper 10 reels years of fake old. movies yes. that you were acting out in a mirror. By myself it. in my And room. then promoting them on Oprah. Exactly. I love it. So that's who Bonnie was. <laughs> I love her. I, I yeah. wish I met her. <laughs> she, she's, uh, she was intense, but like found the joy. Yeah. What about the, the, did that girl have the Tony dream? When did the Tony Awards dream? I think when I was that age, it was more like, I want to get an Oscar. I want, sure. like, I was thinking movies. Still. And, you know, still I mean, of, yeah. still, got, let's, we can yeah. go for it. <laughs> because I remember being in high school and thinking, I love musicals so much. I remember saying, I don't know if I have a voice for musicals because I wasn't singing belting yet I was doing this like mixy pretty little placement and you know I did all the school musicals but I wasn't sure and then when I got into college and started taught myself this version of belting because again it was acting not musical theater I was like wait I think we can go that way but of course being in high school you watch the Tonys you watch all that and you dream of doing something like that but I wasn't sure if it was within my grasp mm -hmm. and then by the time you know I was like 20 I'm like okay this is what we're gonna go for when yeah. you I, I feel like you are definitely living sort of the dream scenario right mm -hmm. now so when you get to a point like this yeah when you're checking off these incredible <laughs> career boxes right What's going on in your brain? I feel like you were you were like, this is the goal. The right. goal was that right now we would be talking about you being nominated for a right. Tony. So now that you're here. And you're in front of me, not a mirror, yeah. which is helpful. A mirror's there, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so like, where is your head at now? Like when you, when you start achieving things, like what, where do you, where do you want to take this? I think uh, what I hope is to just have a career that thrives wherever it is in multiple mediums. I just want to work. I don't need like fame and fortune. Mm -hmm. I just want to work and be known for producing good work and being kind to work with. I look at, you know, some of my idols who have been able to do that, who people enjoy. And like, even you like the Laura Benantes of the world and Don Murphy and Deb Monk, and yeah. they, they can operate in all these fields. And that's what I hope for myself. So at this point, I think the possibilities are limitless mm -hmm. and I'm excited for what comes next. You um, are yeah. quite a role model for, you. for young up and coming performers. What do you want people out there who are maybe doubting that there's a place for them in the industry? What do you want them to know? I want them to know that there is a place for all of us. And I do think the industry is coming around to seeing that more. I mean, look at this year's nominees. We yeah. have such a beautiful array of humans. And that whatever makes you different, or maybe you're bullied about it, or maybe you feel horrible about it, um, because society or the standard norms tell you that's not pretty or that's not good enough is what makes you different. And because you are the world, hopefully we should be seeing the world on stage, on film, on screen. And I think things are coming around and all my biggest advice is just to learn to love those parts of yourself and learn to love yourself. I know I, when I came to the city, I kind of lost myself. I had to get into therapy and learn how to love that girl again. And that's my biggest advice because you can't find validation out of any of this. Um, so surrounding yourself with people who love you for who you are, not for what you can do, is the biggest thing so that you are set up to try to bring your gifts and your beauty to the world. I love that. Who's been your biggest cheerleader? Oh gosh, my mom and my brother are just, over the moon they you know have flown out to see every single thing i do um they were there at opening um they're both coming to the tonys from when i was that little frizzy curly headed girl like doing shows and you know the living room they always were like well she loves it and she's meant to do it and so um they've been absolutely my biggest cheerleaders what is it like today? What's it like getting together with these other first timers? And it's you amazing. see a lot of each other. We do see a lot of each other. What's amazing, I said to, we were taking the group shot and I saw Michaela Diamond and I was like, her and I, you know, we're so different age wise in so many ways. But what's amazing is like, we both made our Broadway debut the same year. We both were doing a photo shoot similar to this at the same time, we were both in it. 
Um, we both won Theater World Awards together. And then now here we are, first time Tony nominees together. And so she made the joke. She's like, well, when you book the next job, let me know, because apparently we're on the same track. And I said, back at you. So it's fun to kind of like, it is reflective of the career that I've had here yeah. in New York and beyond. And you meet new friends and um, it's awesome.